Welcome back to another part of my Final Fantasy XIII playthrough. Uh, so for this video, it's going to be quite a short one. Uh, I'm just going to take you uh, around this um, second part of the of the Orphan's Cradle. Um, if you remember from the last video, um, as we were in the main area of um, the main sort of hub of um, Orphan's Cradle, um, as sorry, as we went to the left-hand side, um, that bit just stayed the same. But on the right-hand side, we picked up a lot of um, treasure chests, and lots of um, fighting these things, the Dagonites, which were we discovered were incredibly annoying because of that rush attack that they do. And um, um, so now we've got to fight more of them because the, the path on the right hand side's changed slightly. Um, now, um, between this video and the last video, I have been running around. I have been running at fuck's sake. See, I'm mean, these Dagonites so bloody annoying. Uh, but I have been running around this area, um, grinding the Crystarium and. I'm um, grinding all the monsters in here. I've already opened some treasure chests there. Um, nothing much to. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. Nothing much of special interest amongst them. Um, but um, I do want to show you a couple of um, areas where we That's rays on her because um, snow doesn't have rays yet. Have it. And it's, uh, let's uh, get the Dagonite. Um, yeah, there's some um, uh, some uh, battles that you will really want to fight um, uh, in this area for the, some of the items that you'll get. And I will show you them when we get to that point. <laughs> so in the meantime, most of the fights in the first part of um, this section are Dagonites and Sacrifices and there's, I think there's one with uh, an Aquila Velo Cycle. Um, so good for fighting to get perfumes for money and stuff like that. Um, but annoying because of those fucking Dagonites. Um, but still worth going through because obviously the sacrifices you can get some perfumes and Scarletites. In fact I've got so many Scarletites I've actually been selling um, a few of them. And even like once you complete the main game um, and get, and you have to go back and like do all the bits that you left out. Um, you, can, yeah, you can't come to this section I'm in now, but you can still fight all the sacrifices um, in the sort of central bit of Orphan's Cradle. Plus, there was also the a few sacrifices that you caught um, in Eden Hall, because you can go back to Eden Hall. Um, so it's uh, pretty easy to farm Scarletite and perfumes from there. Let's we'll switch to this because Fang's been taking a bit of a beating here. Get rid of that Dagonite first. Infiltration, so we can put some debuffs. Our sacrifices. Which one choose? They both fit the same level. Oh, no, 
Oh shit. So this is how it ends. Double whammy of death. Right. Oh well. I'll just have to retry that fight. As with all these fights, get rid of the Dagonites first. Because they're so fucking annoying. Good thing I've got a um, collector's catalogue and connoisseur catalogue equipped, so it's making it more likely that um, these things will drop items, and more likely that they'll drop rare items as well. Right, this fight. Ooh. Get rid of the sacrifices. First. Buffs on them. And also watch, keep a close eye on the um, Koro uh, Velo Cycle because it does a plasma cannon attack which uh, hits you very hard. Cycle. Get all the deep, all the debuffs on it. The usual ones: D shell, D protecting and peril. If you can get some other ones on them, then by all means. Anyway, not important. 
Bloody hell, this thing's taking a long time to stagger. <laughs> but it's kind of been rendered useless because we've um, inflicted it with pain and fog, so it really can't do anything. Switch to this one, so. Snow can do more damage, but Snow does more damage with physical attacks. And Commando. As a commando, he's uh, more likely to do physical attacks. Right. Um. There's another couple more fights. Um, a little bit further up, and there's nothing up there. No, nope, no, get back down! Stop that! Yep. Another sacrifice in Aquila Velo cycle. We're gonna get a preempt on this one. Good. And let's just quick. You're in for it now. Well I've got just uh, get, spam lots of uh debuffs. Just get back to this and we're gonna Oh, oh, thank god for... Thank god, uh, Snow was there to... get his smite in to do maximum damage. Or whatever. Damage was kind of rubbish, but... Eh. Well, that's interesting to know. So I've just discovered that um, a stagger gauge goes up quicker when you're when it's um, um, charging up fast. Well, that's uh, interesting to know. That's probably why that last fight took so long because. Because obviously they inflicted it with um, pain and fog, it can really do any attack, so it didn't charge up, so that's why um, Stagger took so long. Oh well, there you go. Every day's a school day here. Yay, more perfume. Uh, up there's where I originally came from. If you run up to that point, you'll reset all the monsters, so if you're keen to fight all those things again, just run up there and run back down, but I can't be bothered with them just now, because it's down here which is where I, I want to concentrate my efforts. And what I really want to concentrate on is that enemy there. This, um, what's his name? A Sanctum Templar. And the reason I want to concentrate on killing that thing a lot is because, let me just show you, common drop is a credit chip but a rare drop from them is Parovskite. And if you're keen to max out um, lots of your stronger weapons and lots of armor, you're gonna need a lot of perovskite, so there's a, quite a few of them around this area. So just milk them for all they're worth, because once you um, finish this section, um, there isn't really that many Sanctum Templars left to fight. So. So that's why this area, just milk it for all it's worth, like, 
That's what I do every time I come to this area. And I'll show you one particular area where you'll get a, some really good um, fights for to farm for Philip Spike and stuff. Because there's a an area near the end of this section. Uh, the fight is a Sanctum Templar and um, two sacrifices. It's uh, not too difficult to fight, but um, obviously with that you can. The worst you'll get is absolutely nothing, but in most cases you can get like perfume uh, credit chips, and best case scenario is you can get Scarlet Titan for off Skype from them all, so. It's definitely worth just farming that area to death. For fuck's sake! You're gonna swerve! Oh, Fang was nearly dead there, but I realized we'd already all right. It's taking a bit of a battering, so let's go to the combat clinic so Snow can take all the damage there. I'm the one you want! Let's get back to this one. Oh for fuck's sake. Oh, oh these dagger heads do my head in. Got enough energy back in this now. Let's go to a relentless assault and then we can. That way we can concentrate on getting rid of each of the Dagonites individually. Heal ourselves up again. You want them? Uh, oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. But well, while we've got it here, might as well. Uh, Ourselves and wait till that thing is uh, ready to do its plasma cannon again. Ooh. There we go. Now just spam all the debuffs on it. Okay, we got hit by that, but it was worth it to get our stagger gauge up. Go! There's another Sanctum Templar fight. It's with those annoying Dagonites, but... Same rules apply, get rid of the Dagonites. Because then I can concentrate more on the work of them. Right. I'm just going to quickly see if we can put. Sure, yeah. Someone's got vigilance. Let me just check. No, she doesn't. Oh, 
Ah, yep. Snow's got vigilance. Wish they just wish he'd put that on earlier, but. Them. Don't give up. Much Thanks. Yeah. Okay, vigilance was a waste of time, but uh, <laughs> thought I'd better check it out. Just oh, yeah. Be on the safe side. in case I've missed items because it wouldn't be the first time I've missed uh, like one time only treasure chests uh, let's see if we can get a preempt on this one yes we do it no quake In this case, get rid of the Sanctum Templar first because he has the, the lower hit points. But just let Snow just batter the sacrifice. Get the smite in. Staggered because, well, it's nearly, nearly gone. Right. Yay, Scarlet type. Okay, so uh, the one fight I was, I was mentioned earlier. This is the one that I uh, think is worth milking. Is this one here? So two sacrifices and a san Sanctum Templar. Go straight for infiltration and get rid of the Templar first because it has the lower HP. Just the heroin as well, empty shell. There we go. Dagger gauge is up. Just put another couple more debuffs on. The other sacrifice to. Uh, not, not that that one. The other one. That one here. Push his stagger gauge up a bit quicker. There we go. Uh, 
now let's just get rid of this one. That's the this assault. There we go. Right. So the, the way to milk this is all you've got to do is just simply run up this ramp and they respawn almost straight away. So that's why this section is just um, brilliant for farming. Um, Scarlet takes it for off steps. So after this fight, that's what I'm going to do. Finish this broadcast and then I'll spend um, a bit of time farming for Perovskite. And should get some cut nice perfumes as well. Sell for a good chunk of money. Because of uh, something else I've also been doing is uh, just um, upgrading all the weapons that I've got um, and try and get them to like their second stage to so basically use the use and abuse the rock skate and scarlet type that I've been doing. That's all I really wanted to show you for this video. Um, so as I say, I'm going to just keep running back and forward and just milk this area for all it's worth and get loads of perovskites and scarletites and perfumes and stuff. Uh, so I'll finish this vi uh, video here and say thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you again soon when I go to the next section of the uh, Orphan's Cradle. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.